Hi guys, it's Jill, and today I'm gonna turn off my porch light. Today, Le Boyfriend is moving into his college dorm, so I'm going to go help with that and get lunch with his fam and all that good stuff. I have a little while before I go, and I have been wanting to do this video for a while, but I couldn't quite decide on the format, and I think I'm just gonna do it the simplest way possible, because like, you know, why make things more complicated than they need to be? I'm gonna walk you guys through each of the horses that I am working with out here and what my plans for them are and some basic details just so you guys can get a feel for what I do. So yeah, let's get to it. So this is my front porch we walk off and then there's Cookie, but first I'm gonna go around my car to the ponies in the barn. Say hi to my bean. So, of course, you all know Zazu, my favorite bean. Once she's better, I'll start working her again, but for right now, it's kind of just putting her out whenever it's not too hot because somebody likes to run around like a grouch. Right now, I take her out whenever I can and clean her stall. Probably take a walk tonight because it is way too hot right now and somebody likes to get worked up. Moving into the horses that I ride for work, are you gonna come say hi? This is Dave. Dave is 10. Dave is an off-the-track thoroughbred. Um, he has a little experience in ponying other horses, and he um, just recently started his jumping career. He kind of sat in a pasture forever, not really doing a whole lot of anything, um, but my boss pulled him out of a paddock and took him to a show <laughs> with like maybe two weeks to prepare, and he did pretty well. Um, a little iffy about cross country, but who can really fault him? He'd never been exposed to that before. So we're gonna see what he wants to do. Um, he is sort of for sale, but only like to the right, right person. If I can get his door open, this is tricky. Mm -hmm. Jeez. This is Mr. David. He's a wonderful, handsome man. He is, we actually sticked him. He's 17 hands. That's that's about all the info on him. My boss's personal mare, Shati. She is also a thoroughbred. She had a racing career as well, uh, as far as I know. And she has the world's biggest feet. <laughs> and uh, she's just really, really a huge mare. But hopefully, She'll be going training maybe this fall or next spring, and um, I'm riding her here and there. Um, both her and Dave, I only ride twice a week just for like sort of tune up y rides and um, just because, you know, boss is busy, so sometimes I have to fill in the blanks when she can't be out here. Um, but now we'll head on over to the ponies, who are a fun, fun lot. So this is Beauty. She, I have no idea what breed she is. She's probably like 13, 3, 14 hands. I don't know, like I said, terrible estimating. She is like on the verge of foundering because she's so fat, so <laughs> she's currently on a diet. Um, and this paddock is vastly overgrown, but is on the mow, mowing list. She's really cute, she's very sweet. Um, she also, I believe, is for sale. Um, I don't really have prices on anybody, um, but you're more than welcome to email me at jetaventing at gmail.com for uh, more info on the ponies, but please only if you're seriously looking. Uh, we are located in Bismarck, Arkansas. So um, yeah, but this is Beauty. She's cool. I ride her two to three times a week, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then there's a little pony named Skittles who just got here yesterday. She's so cute. Hello. Okay, so I just realized I forgot to tell how old Shotzi and Beauty were, but the truth is I don't know. I know Shotzi is older, probably like 13, 14, 15 in that area, and I have no idea how old Beauty is. I'll have to find that out. Um, but we are now in this paddock with these guys. So Leo is a four-year-old Mustang pony, I think. Um, he's like, I don't know, 13 hands, something like that. He's, he's really small and I look kind of ridiculous on him. Is not for sale. He um, is a little pony that I'm just keeping in work so that he like has a pretty good understanding and becomes a decent kid's horse. Just got here yesterday. Um, my boss bred her. Um, she actually had her mother die giving birth to her, so she was an orphan foal. 
I don't have the full complete story, but um, she is a little shorter and a little more underweight right now. I forgot where she was, but um, we're working on putting some weight on her now and she'll get added to my program. Um, I'm not sure how many days a week or anything like that, um, but I know that Leo, um, I'm riding two to three times a week. Um, let's see who else. So you are hilarious if you think I'm gonna walk out there. One of the ponies that I will soon be riding, if that's down there, we're gonna put her up there. We're gonna play paddock musical chairs so that I can catch her because I'm pretty sure she'll run. <laughs> but maybe I can get over there close enough on the other side of the fence because I'm not walking through that grass. I'm in Burks. Okay guys, so this is my personal fave. This is Mr. Twinkie Man. As you can see, he is rather thin still. He has been a hard keeper. Um, and he's just he's hard to keep weight on um, but we are changing up his regiment treating him for ulcers to see if that helps also contrary to everyone on instagram who thought he was either 14 hands or a two-year-old uh he's like 16 2 16 3 um I, we haven't sticked him but uh he just makes me look really large on him because he's so thin right now but we're gonna fix it i promise <laughs> and uh he is the cuddliest horse he always whinnies at me and comes to me when I call him. Um, he is so freaking sweet. And he is a six-year-old off the track thoroughbred. Um, he was actually found at a kill pen uh, on Facebook. Uh, my boss found him and rescued him and he's sort of been through a lot but this horse is like He's so sensitive and so smart, and um, I had a jump lesson off the property back at the barn I was riding at, you know, all of last year, and I had a jump lesson on him, his third time ever jumping, absolutely amazing, kept his canter rhythm the whole time, like he has cruise control, if you ask him to go faster, he'll stay in that gate until you ask him to slow down, or whatever, and he's so, so receptive. He did his first oxo the other day, absolutely no like questions about it was just like okay here we go bounce <laughs> and just bounded right over it um he will be for sale i mean he's for sale right now but we would kind of rather see him go to a show first you know gain some experience so out there i believe it's this one here it's hard to tell from so far away but i'm pretty sure that one over there is gale that's ghosty all the way out there and then Dixie and Levy, but I'm pretty sure this one here is Mistricity. She is gonna move up there. Um, I have yet to ride her, um, but I'm very excited to. I'll insert some pictures of her and show you guys what she looked like when she came off the racetrack. She's currently only three, and I don't know, I've heard a bunch of different things because um, she's kind of changed hands a little bit. But my boss bred her, and so she knows her, and I'm just gonna start her back into work lightly and then see what she wants to do. Okay, I'm gonna walk back up this hill. And this handsome fellow here is Mr. Cricket. He is my four to five times a week buddy, so we see a lot of each other. He usually nickers at me and walks right up to me, which is really, really nice. Um, He's a thoroughbred. I'm not really sure of his backstory. Do you? Hi, handsome. Does not have a tattoo. Um, didn't race. So I forget where my boss got him from, but I braided his mane because, as you can see, sweats on his neck quite a bit. So I was like, you know, I'll give you some reprieve. Um, but he is Western. All the other horses are English. He's the only Western one. So. Yeah, that's Mr. Cricket Man. Him and Myla are like best friends. They like to run the fence together. He is rather lazy, but he is only four. <laughs> so he's kind of a brat sometimes because he's like, I want to play with my mouth a whole lot. Just kind of wants to do trails and that's good because he um, was purchased by a man that um, just wants to do trail rides with him. So I think that's a good life for you, huh handsome? So that is pretty much it. That's everyone I ride. Can I help you? I'm trying to go through you guys' list. Cricket, Leo, Twinkie, Beauty, Shotzi, Dave, and then Baby and Mistricity. <gasps> you! Bad! What did I say about his mouth? I like this shirt a whole lot. I got it at a garage sale. <laughs> uh, baby and Mistricity, so that's eight. And then when Zoe's back into work, that'll be nine. You are so bad. Big turd. That's why you have scars all over your face, because you mess with things. Also, do you like my rings? They're from Stableware. They sent them to me and they're silicone rings. I think they're cool. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's 
all the ponies. I hope that's enough info about them. The ponies, I'm sort of just like putting miles on. Cricket, I'm putting miles on. Twinkie is in jump training and we're hoping to show him this fall and take him to a beginner novice or starter depending on how far he comes in the next few weeks. And then Dave, we want to move up to beginner novice if he's still with us. Um, and then I guess I'll just have to ride Mistricity and Baby to see what they're game for. But yeah, that is the whole the whole family, the whole herd. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Comment what you want to see next. Hopefully I'll have a barn vlog up soon of like my kind of work routine. I've been waiting until everybody has shoes on because they all lose shoes. After I can find a day to get a video because classes start in two days at a new school so life may be a little hectic here for a bit. Hopefully we'll be able to do a video on each horse and showing you guys what they're doing, how it's going, and that sort of thing. So yeah, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!